Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Oh my God, she's beautiful. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, sorry for late stream. Orange top, yeah, I switched it up. I change clothes, yeah? Yeah, I change my clothes sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Uh, League of Legends. Which, in my defense, I wanted, to, I wanted to play League of Legends really badly, and I haven't had the free time because of streaming. So it's been your fault that I haven't been able to play League of Legends. So, so yeah, anyway, yeah, it's your fault, kind of. <laughs> um, I wanted to play League of Legends very badly, so. It was so funny. I think it's just lack of sleep from my throat. I don't think I'm actually, I don't go outside, so how could I contract anything that would make me sick, right? You have to, you have to recognize it like that. When these delivery people, maybe. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> they don't just deliver food, they deliver illnesses. Oh god, I'm so fucking tired. Seriously. I still didn't get enough sleep. I wanted to go back to sleep so bad. Honest to god, I wanted to go to sleep so bad. I didn't want to wake up. And I was having so many dreams. And you know what the worst part was? I was having this really vibrant nightmare. And I still would ra I wanted to go back to the nightmare rather than- rather than get out of bed. I was like, let me go back. Let me go back. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to go back to sleep. Uh, I hate you that- I like sleep that much how much I like sleep. It was the craziest nightmare too. Like, okay, it was like so involved. It was, I don't know, cause you know how like nightmares kind of, or like just dreams in general, don't really stick to the same theme the whole way through. They kind of like sort of morph and do weird shit as, a, as, it, as you sleep longer. Like they just kind of, for whatever reason, switch it up. I don't quite understand. But anyway, so it started out that I was, it was like a horror movie, okay? But then it kind of became like horror video game. But then it kind of became back into horror movie. And I was no longer the main character. Which made it less scary because I wasn't the main character. And then... And then when I woke up, I think Captain America was there. Um, by the time I woke up, I think, I think Spider-Man and Captain America was there. So it wasn't really scary at all anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't really understand how they got there at the end, but, um, oh, I remember what, what happened now. Yeah, I remember what happened. Okay. So, so, yeah, because it was, like, right at the end, right at the end of the, okay, you have to understand this. Right at the end of the dream, it was, like, I was actually winning. You know what I mean? Like, I was- it was like the climax of the horror movie where I'm like actually winning the horror movie. And so, yeah, I didn't get to see the ending of it. That's why I wanted to go back to- anyway, so basically what happened was I was getting haunted. I kind of forget the early part of the dream, so just- let's just kind of gloss over that. But I was getting haunted by like a malevolent spirit of some sort. But the thing was, it was like- there were like three or four tiers. I would say like three tiers of malevolent spirit that were haunting me. All right. So there was, there was like the, um, there was like the, the regular evil spirits that were scary and threatening. Okay. There was this one guy and he was called, um, he was called the mailman and his thing was, um, he would like shock, he would like stalk your home or whatever. Um, and if you both made eye contact with each other, um, the next day he would send you, uh, mail. And then if you got, if you got mail from the mailman, um, then the day after that he would come and kidnap you. 
Um, so he was scary. So the mailman, the mailman was scary. But then you had the like, um, yeah, like the ring tapes, yeah, or whatever, right? So he'd come and get you, right? But then you had above him, so on the tier list, pan stream, pan stream, pan stream, okay? You had the like actual villain malevolent spirit, okay? So, and there were a bunch of these, like it wasn't just mealman, okay? There was like a, quite a few of them. So there's like, there's like me, okay? And then up here, there's like a bunch of, uh, or, or we should do this in the opposite direction, okay? So there's like a bunch of like malevolent spirits here. And then down here, like, you know, they're, they're going after me, okay? So there's like mealman, okay? Meal... Man. Okay, and then there was this other one, and he was like, um, I don't know what his deal was, but he, as long as, um, as long as y he couldn't see you. So the counterplay to Mealman was you had to like completely, uh, you just had to not look at Mealman. That was the counterplay to Mealman was you had to not look at him, right? Um, he's like an Enderman or whatever in Minecraft. But then there was this other guy and I didn't see him or son. Yeah, I didn't see this guy. I don't know his name, but his thing was you could not be visible. So he was like in my room, but I was under the, I was like totally under the blankets. Like I was like hidden, hidden, hidden under the blankets. Okay. Like, like not a single inch of my body was able to be visible. And it was so hot, obviously, because it gets really hot when you hide under your blankets. But if he saw even an inch of me, he would just kill me. Okay. I don't know what that guy's name was, but he was scary. Um, and there were a couple other ones, but I didn't really see them. I didn't, yeah, it became very video gamey because it was like a meta to understanding like how all the, that's, that's why I said it started out as like a horror movie, but then it kind of became like horror video game where there was like, you know, like a phasmophobia, like it was a way to differentiate the evil spirits and there was ways to play around them or whatever. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so that was like, there was like a guy here. I don't know who he was. I don't know what his thing was. And there were other ones, but I don't remember them because it's a dream and you kind of forget your dreams. But then, above, above them, there was the, like, the guy, the motherfucker that was haunting me. There was the mother, I don't know what his name was, but he was the one haunting me. And I think, no, oh, I, he was the door demon. Okay, that was his name. He was the door. He was door demon. Okay, and he was like the guy. And so what he was, was he was, he haunted a door. Okay, but you didn't really know that, right? He like haunted a door and then he like transferred like his malevolent intent to like people near the door or whatever. I don't know exactly how it worked, but um, he was haunting, he was haunting me. Um, and, and he want he wanted me. Like, he was, like, the, he was, like, the guy, okay? He was, like, the villain of the, of the movie or whatever. He was, like, the main villain of the movie was the door demon. And I didn't see, because what happened was, um, because you didn't know it was the door thing or whatever. Or maybe I did know, because I got an exorcist to try help me with the door demon. Um, I got an exorcist to help me with the door demon. Um, and the door demon didn't like sunlight, so he could only come at night. Um, which I think is probably true for a lot of these demons. They don't seem to like sunlight. But the door demon would die if he was in sunlight. He was like a vampire type thing. But he didn't look like a vampire at all. Um, he didn't look like a vampire. He had like a big robe on. Like a really long robe. Um, he had a really long robe. And he had, um, he had, um, sword hands. But not really sword hands. Like, because he had hand hands. But anyway. Um, what he would do is he would grab you. And he would fucking slap you on the door. And then you would get, like, you would become this, like, sticky, goopy version of yourself. That would get stuck to the door. And then he would take the door with him. And then he, I assume he had a collection of, like, people doors. Right? Like, doors that just had human beings like in like trapped in them and that was what he did he would stick you on the door and then he would take the door with them 
um, and it was really scary. So this motherfucker, um, chat. It was my night. I had a nightmare. I had a nightmare. That's what I'm, I'm describing my nightmare. Okay, yeah, like Han Solo style. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, I guess. But it was more like sticky, goopy, sticky stuff, okay? Um, and the door demon would kidnap you by sticking you to the door and, and, and kidnapping you, okay? Um, and I hired an exorcist to help me. And the door demon was just watch. So basically, um, Meal Man and I made eye contact. I made eye contact with Meal Man because I didn't know. And Meal Man was like, okay, so now I'm fucking dead twice over because Meal Man is gonna kill me tomorrow. Okay? So, I'm dead to Meal Man anyway. I survived whatever the fuck this guy is, but Meal Man is coming for my ass in, in two days' time. And then at the end of the night, at the end of the night, Door Demon shows up in the last hour just to fuck with me. Because he knows the sun's coming up. So he shows up. He shows up at the last hour of the night to taunt me and to laugh at me saying, yeah, you thought I wasn't gonna show up tonight. Like, you thought I wasn't gonna be here. You thought it was gonna be these other demons. But like, nah, I'm here. I'm here to fucking kill you. I'm here, yeah, the boss showed up. I'm here to kill you, sorry. I'm, fu I'm here to fucking kidnap you. Um, but the exorcist person, the exorcist person opened the, the balcony window or the balcony door to let the light in. And it was like, a, we had to like, I had to survive his like mental torment for like an hour until the sun rose at exactly 6 a.m. Five Nights at Freddy's style so that we could open the door and blast him with light. Um, and he was trying to kill us for that hour and we had to survive until 6 a.m. And then we opened the door, the, we opened the light at 6 a.m. And he got killed by the light and the sunlight killed the door demon. And so the door demon was dead. The door demon died. The door demon died, but the problem was, the problem was that Mailman was still coming for me the next night. So I got, I, I moved out of my home as in true horror movie fashion, because I didn't know, like, I didn't know the, all the stuff, right? I didn't know the matter or whatever, but I moved out of my home and I moved into this different home and I was in the basement and all of a sudden, um, all of a sudden, I wasn't really the protagonist anymore because it was a dream. And now it was more like it was like a movie. And there was like a protagonist that like wasn't me. And then the protagonist is like little sister that like also wasn't me. So there was like two people now. And they were in a basement together. And they were getting haunted. And then, um... And then the real the thing that they were, we, they were afraid of was Meal Man. Because Door Demon's dead, right? So it was Meal Man that was coming for the girl. Or for for the for the for the protagonist, sorry, not the the sister. Meal Man was coming for the protagonist, um, but then, but then, but then, um, turns out Meal Man is kind of a trash uh, villain. Uh, he kind of sucks, so he actually wasn't a problem. But guess what? Guess what? By the way, guess what? Um, we brought the door with us into the basement. We brought the door with us into the basement. And guess what? Door Demon wasn't actually dead. He actually wasn't dead at all. The whole time he wasn't dead. He lied about being dead. He was never dead. And Door Demon grabbed the girl instead of the protagonist. He grabbed the little, the little sister and he fucking slapped her on the door and turned her into a goop door and fucking ran away with the goop door and ran away with the little sister. And she got got. She got fucking got. She got got. And so the exorcists, the exorcists, which included Spider-Man at this point, Spider-Man was one of the exorcists, were like, oh my god, we need to go get Door Demon. We need to go save the girl. So the exorcists leave to chase down Door Demon. And they follow they follow Door Demon out of the out of the home. Okay? So the exorcists go chase the little girl and Door Demon to rescue her. Now you might be thinking. You might be thinking, wow, okay, Spider-Man um, and the other exorcists really got that. They got, like, they're going to hold that down. I think Captain America was also an exorcist. Um, but they're going to hold that down. They're going to they're gonna save the little girl, and it's all going to be good, right? It's all going to be good. It's all going to be good. But guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Door Demon wasn't actually the final boss because above him was 
the the demon with a lot of hands. I don't know what his name is, but there was like hand demon, okay, or arm demon. And he was the actual motherfucker. He was the actual motherfucker. And he had like 12 arms and he didn't walk like a normal person, okay? He walked on like, like I would say all fours, but like he had so many arms. So his arms would go like, like that, you know? Kind of like a little, right? right? Like he'd walk with the, uh, all of his arms and he had the scariest voice. And when all the exorcists left, left, when all the exorcists left to go chase after Door Demon, he started taunting. And now I was the protagonist. Now it wasn't a movie anymore. And he started taunting me saying, yeah, you, like the whole time you thought it was Door Demon. The whole time you thought like, but I was actually the one stalking you the whole time. And then he like would have these like shrieks and he would like smash like he would like slash or like, like rip in half like things that i i was like hiding under the bed and then i moved from the bed to another place and he like smashed the fucking bed in half because he thought i was under there um but i wasn't and it was so scary um and yeah and then I, my alarm went off um and i didn't know what was going to happen at the end so i didn't get to see the the, the conclusion i got fucking cucked by my alarm I got absolutely cucked. I didn't know what the hand demon was gonna do. I didn't- what was hand demon gonna do? Was hand demon gonna win? Maybe. Maybe. But... Anyway. Sony Pictures gonna steal my story? No, this is like the most generic horror movie plot ever. Well, I guess except for Captain America and Spider-Man being exorcist, that wasn't... Um... <laughs> that wasn't really the... You know, maybe if they include spider I meant, but also imagine... Oh, there was another part of the movie. Or the, the, the... Yeah, there was. In the movie section with the... With the, the superheroes. So, they were in the... I'm not kidding. I'm straight up not kidding. Um, I'm, sh I I'm, I'm so serious. The, the superheroes went into the, the Underdark. And in the Underdark, they could feel fear. And, and Nick Fury, Samuel L, literally Samuel L. Jackson was, was thinking about how the horror monsters would kill the super the Avengers if they went into the Underdark. I don't fucking know. That part was like three minutes of the dream. That was not a lot of the dream. But it did happen in the dream. I do remember that now. I do remember Samuel Jackson talking about how the Underdark horror monsters would kill the, League of the Avengers. Anyway. Um. Anyway. That was the. That was the, the dream. That was it. That was the dream. So, that's what happened. Um, and you denied that dream from me, chat. You denied that from me. You stole that from me. Your fault, it's fine. It's okay. Was I, I was not on drugs. I was not on drugs. I don't do drugs. I'm a very good, well-behaved, non-drug doing person who doesn't do drugs. One thing you need to know about me is like, don't do drugs. Oh. And the big takeaway is that I need to play more Baldur's Gate and League of Legends. True? It's true. It's so true. Anyway, uh, the first time you watched it, I was so into fall. I was so far into some wines, I fell over backwards in my chair. I yes, I remember that. I remember that one. Yeah, I remember that clip. I just lay. I just laid on the floor for a while afterwards because it was um. Yeah, I was just kind of cozy on the floor. That was a good one. That was a good clip. In Minecraft, they're not real animals. Oh yeah, and I was talking about how some uh the Arthur or something. There, something wasn't real animals. Real animals, 
a good quote. That's a good quote. That's a good quote. I just decided, I was just like, I didn't even hurt. I was just like, I'm gonna lie here for a while. I'm just gonna chill out for a second. I'm just co- I'm cozy right down there. You understand. I'm cozy moding. I'm in my zone. I'm in, I'm undisturbed. I'm ch I'm straight chilling. I, I be cooling, bruh. I ain't worried about nothing. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. What the hell are we doing today? Why did I get out of bed for this stream? Why did I get out of fucking bed? Why did I do this? What am I doing? Am I just going to go right back into Baldur's Gate? Yeah, the nightmare was crazy. I wanted to know how the nightmare ended. The nightmare was so sick. What do I do? Do I just go r immediately back into Baldur's Gate 3 and we try to crank out the ending of Baldur's Gate 3? Do I play League of Legends? You got your stream seeing so No! I'm a free agent and can decide my fate. You never get to see how the dream ends. Watch party the NFL playoffs. Um, that's still a thing? They still have those? I thought they would have uh, cancelled those or whatever. <laughs> 